Mike Kirk here with the BMW Motorrad Club of Northern Illinois and in this video I want to talk to you guys just about what I do for my yearly service. Now it's March, middle of March right now. I'm about a month late on getting my bike going. I've actually had it out on the road before I did my yearly service but uh, I, that sometimes that can't be helped. Anyway, so I just want to go through a real brief summary of the things that I do. So. First thing I've got to do though is I got to get the covers off and then I'll continue. Hey, look at that. All right. Worked that time. Okay, so what are we going to do to yearly service? Now it depends on the mileage. Between last year and this year, I put on about 14,000 miles. So I hit that 12,000 mark. There's a lot of definitely some maintenance to do at 12,000 miles and I'll do that uh, some of the th and I'll talk about some of the things that I won't do because they're on a different schedule so I'm gonna pull the camera off the, the stand here and go through some of the things just kind of go around the bike and circle it and uh, just show you what, what I'm talking about here okay in no particular order I will change the engine oil now that's gonna be if I'm within, I, I change my engine oil on the bike every 6,000 miles because uh, I'm using the conventional. I'm not running extended drain. That is uh, per the book. So 6,000 miles, I'm close enough. I'm about, I think I'm about 5,000, and it just came out of storage. You know, it sat over the winter, things like that. So I'll go ahead and change the oil. Doing the gas filter. I'm not going to change the gas filter this year. I changed it last year, so I've only got about 12,000 miles on it. I like to put about 24 on there, so th that service will take. I'll take care of that service next year, as well as the air filter. Now, took all the covers off the bike, so I can really give it a good inspection. I can look for any leaks, you know, look for the, uh, see if my shocks leaking, things like that. Clean out the bugs. I'm going to take my air blower and blow all the dust out of it that I can and even I've gone so far as uh, rolling the bike outside and hosing it all down uh, with the covers off so that it just gives it a fresh start for the year. That way I can see if I've got any oil leaks throughout the year, things like that, uh, any kind of fluid leaks. Now I'm going to be doing the, uh, the brake service. So I will be flushing out the brakes and the clutch. So I got the clutch thing exposed here. The coolant, that's on about a four, yeah, roughly four years. About every four years I'll change that. I changed that two years ago and I'm not going to change it now. No need to. I will be, like I said, I'll be uh, running through the brakes. I've already had the brake calipers off. As you can see here, I've got my front fender off. I, I put a new tire on it. Uh, well, just because I hated that other tire that was on here. That'll be in a different video. My my burning hatred of the uh, Pirelli tire that was on here. Okay. The steering damper. I always service this damper. I service this every year, whether it needs it or not. Uh, you guys should be, this should be on your regular maintenance schedule if it's not already. I will be doing the valves. So I'll, I'll uh, do my valve check. All of these videos, all of the instructions on how to do all of these things are in my other videos. Uh, I'm not going to link to them in this video because it would be quite extensive. If you'd like to see the videos, I would just do a search on my channel, the Illinois BMW Riders channel that you that you find this on, or uh, just go to the videos tab and look through. You know, scroll through all of the videos. There's probably 50, 60 videos on how to work on this bike. The other thing that I'll be doing this year, which I do every year, actually I do it about twice a year, is I maintenance my my shift linkage. It gets a lot of dirt and crap in here. You can see it's pretty dirty. All that dirt comes up through the, uh, you know, through here, comes up and collects right on the linkage. So I'll take the linkage apart, clean it all out, re-grease it. Having the covers off, 
of course I'm going to be doing the brakes so here's my ABS unit I needed exposure to that so that's why I took all these covers off I can also see what my level is it's actually just a tad low so I'll be adding just a little bit to that and I'll be just giving the bike a very very thorough inspection going from one end to the other I will be changing out as per my 12,000 miles I will be changing out the transmission uh, it's not the transmission itself but the transmission gear lube that's in there so I will flush that out or change that out I do that about every uh, yeah every 12,000 miles on that I believe and I'll definitely be doing the final drive as everybody that has one of these has heard about the horrid horror stories about the final drive how they tend to go out I change the oil in this the interval I think the interval in the book calls for 12,000 most guys out there do it every 6,000 miles I do mine every three to four thousand miles just because and it's not because it gets dirty at all it's because I just want to check I want to pull that out and you know I put it into a clean container so I can see are there any metal particles in there anything more than the last time and it's really just so I can catch it early I actually have a new final drive or, or a, a another final drive sitting on the shelf in case this one ever goes bad uh, just so I don't have to spend a lot of time rebuilding it things like that um, hopefully it won't go out if I'm on a big trip somewhere going around you know up into Canada or something like that that would be a mess but it'd be hard to get get my parts up there anyway that's one of the spare parts that I have and uh, of course I'll be be changing that too uh, and I'll just be going over the whole bike just really from tip to tail making sure that everything that I can make sure of is it ready to go uh, you know I try to treat this thing like an airplane and that way it doesn't let me down if anything I'll let it down so that's my uh, 12,000 mile service that I'll be going through on this bike if you were to uh, bring your bike to me it's gonna go through the same check I treat every single bike as it is my very own and hope you guys get something out of this video thanks so much for watching check out our other videos out there hey, and if you uh, if you should should so choose to do so if you'd like to uh, donate to our club you can do that through our club website at illinoisbmwrider.com uh, also uh, if you want to donate directly to me I certainly take that too so uh, just uh, send me an email and I'll email you back on how to do that but uh, thanks again for watching take care